Hello everyone, this is Curtis with Weed Whacker Lawn Cure. Hey, I notice in the comment sections I've been asked a number of times about doing a lawn care setup. So I'm going to give you all a tour of all the lawn care equipment that I, I use throughout my lawn care season. So, let's start out with what I drive. I got a 2012 Ford F-150 XLT with the tow package on it. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this is the truck right here, that F-150. Okay, uh, what can I say about this truck? I've never had any problems with it. It's a great truck. Um, I love this Ford. I tell you, it is it is a good, good truck. I love the Ford trucks. Now, I had a Chevrolet. I've had two Chevrolets, Silverado. I had an 88. I had a 99. And I would say they were good trucks, but they had some problems, but, you know, older models. So probably in time, Chevrolet got the act together and they're probably good trucks. But I've always liked it for it. And <laughs> from way back when I, when I was buying the Chevrolet, I probably should have been getting a Ford then, but I don't know. I just got into it listening to somebody else. And uh, I ended up doing that. But for as for it's working, you can't beat a Ford. You cannot beat that Ford. Um, before buying the Ford truck, I talked to over 50 guys, older guys. And they was, they told me, they said, listen, let me tell you, I swear up and down by the Ford. They said, don't give me no other truck but a Ford. And I was like, why? He said, that's all I drove. He said, that Ford will work, buddy. And I, I guess that's why they say Ford is the number one selling truck. I guess it goes down through a legacy. Ford is a tough truck. Now, I, I, I mean, I've tried Chevrolet and I haven't tried any of those rounds, but no. Nah. I think I'm, I'm going to stick with a Ford. I love the Fords. And um, now Chevrolet is a good truck, but I haven't tried any of the newer trucks. I looked at one, but I was like, nah, I'm going uh, <laughs> I'm I'm to stick with what I know now. I love the Ford. Ford is working. Now, the trailer that I use, okay, you can see it's the Exxon trailer. This here is a 14-foot trailer. Uh, I think it's eight point, uh, I think 8.2, something wide across. And I shared a video of that when I first purchased this trailer back in 2019. Um, what can I say about the trailer? Well, I really have enjoyed this trailer. It has uh, been tremendously very profitable for me, the open trailer. And when I say profitable is, is that I was able to do a number of jobs for us doing cleanup, loading this trailer up, hauling off debris. I mean, I've hauled off enough stuff to pay for the trailer, you know, by using it in my lawn care uh, business. And I mean, oh, have I hauled some stuff with this trailer. Matter of fact, even when I had my old trailer, I hauled it, but I could haul more with this one here. And I really can say that I have have enjoyed this trailer from the time that I gotten it now what else oh I'll go ahead and share with you I have the blower out in there and y'all know this one here is the uh, BR 800 that I have uh, steel now I also have another blower but I don't have it with me um, it is the husk bunner that new one and what can I say about it it is a monster that blower will blow 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 yes it will blow and I've done a lot of cleanup jobs and I've had just good service out of the Husqvarna and I've had good service out of this one here now what else do I have on the trailer here oh I have some trimmers here I got the LFS 11R which is a very powerful trimmer I, I really like that trimmer it's, it's great and also I have the Echo SRM 3020T, very powerful. I've done a lot of cleanup jobs with these. Matter of fact, I have two of them. And they have been really a great help in my business for us getting things taken care of in a timely manner. So I, I really like those. These are the two that I recommend using if you want to 
pick up some speed and you're a solo person these are some good trimmers a little heavy but hey they do the job baby they'll get the job done for you quick especially working solo you know you need something that's gonna be able to get in there and get out of there for you and let me see what else I can share with you oh the steel HL 100 these trimmer here I love them they are great this is an older model and I've ooh, have I trimmed a lot of hedges with them I also have another one that's smaller but I don't have it with me I have a lot of this stuff I put up in the storage and I go and get it when I need it so I shared that with y'all so now let's move along and go over here and check out the mowers all right here we go here we go oh I wanted to share with you what else I have in my lawn care setup. I'm giving you the tour of my lawn care setup. Well, we got the Weed Whacker Lawn Care Safety Vest. We put that on when we are working on the outside, like on some roads or meteor. If I'm working on a commercial property, normally I put that in there because I want I want to be seen so nobody don't run over me. So that's why I have that okay and this right here is my gravely it is a pro turn 252 commercial mower great mower i tell you i have cut a lot of commercial properties and i've shared it in a number of videos of me doing some work with it and uh it it has done some good good work for me this is another good more a good investment when I when I purchased this more I was looking at doing some commercial property and I had a contract for some I guess it was some kind of town homes and it was about I don't know three or four hundred units and I was gonna have to get another one but uh, I pulled out on the contract because it just wasn't enough money on what they were offering me after you know calculating it up I said nah I just forget it but meanwhile i didn't need it anyway because i've done enough other properties this you know lots and all and big you know big properties acres two acres three acres seven acres ten acres you know and, and it's paid for itself over a period of time and i purchased this in 2014 and so far i've had good luck with it and as we move along let's see i have uh the right uh, walk behind is which is a hydro mower. It's a 32 inch deck. I like the 32 inches because I can get in and out of these gates of these residential uh, neighborhoods. I mean, they you know the gates are just so small and you got to be able to get in the backyard. I could get a you know I would buy a wider mower like maybe a 36, 40 some, but it's not beneficial if I can't get in the backyard. So that's why I get these 32 because I can get the front back taken care of quick in and out of there and this here is the cola confident and it's got the 19 uh, horsepower on it and as you can see I've shared this one with you in a number of videos and matter of fact I got to put some new tires on it the tires are low on that one so let's walk around over here and I'll give you um, you know what's in the back I have a sulky that I use when I'm uh, mowing a lot of properties to stand on and ride this I got it because it was lighter on some of the properties and went lighter on some of the properties what I want to say is sometimes I run into some problems where the mower is just too heavy and it's bogging down and this is a little bit lighter for me uh, mowing these properties due to the fact that the property is wet so I um, had to get this here more and this mower here have woof it have cut some yards I must say now I also have the right standard which is in the process of uh, getting a new engine I already have the engine there and I'm working on it I'm I, well I got it apart but I just haven't installed the engine and that's coming soon so I gave y'all a little breakdown of this here mower here do recommend it it is a great mower I love this here more because I have cut a lot of yards with this one here and I shared it I shared this in a lot of videos now let's move on over I just purchased a new mower this year this year's the, the uh, skag stand on more 
and what can I say about it? Ah, uh, it is a good mower. I'm really loving this here mower. I really love it. I mean, it's, uh, it is great, fast, and quick. Now, it does the job for me, for what I need it for. I need it to mow the front and the back of the lawns. Now, now, a lot of people might say, well, why you didn't go back with, uh, the right? Well, I would have, but it didn't, the right mower didn't have the commercial pumps that I needed. So I wanted this here and I wanted commercial pumps. I know they have one that has the pumps on it, but those, they're rated for like so many hours. And you got to do use the price point and what you're getting on the mower. Um, you're getting commercial pumps, you're getting commercial spindles, and you know, the commercial grade belts. And you get so many hours on some belts, you know, and they just break. And those belts are, well, they're kind of pricey. So you pay for all of that when you look at the price point. I mean, and what you're getting for the more. I mean, you can get cheaper mowers, but there's, there's a, a point for it being cheap. I mean, when a manufacturer is putting something together, they're looking at price points. They can cut corners by putting something in there cheaper. It's not going to hold up. So... I'd rather pay a little bit more and get something that I know is going to hold up for me. And that's what I've done. That's why I got that one. Now, let's move on over. Now, here's my Skag 32. Heavy duty commercial. Walk behind and it's belt driven. What I like about this more, well, I bought it brand new and, oh, it worked. I mean, it really worked hard. Now, of course, you know I shared a video where I put a new engine on it, and uh, the new engine has been perfectly great, and I still work work this more. It's more of a backup more, and I mean, from time to time I'll use it just to, uh, you know, keep keep the engine up and all. But I really love this more because when I was in the process of. Uh, purchasing a commercial grade more this was my very first one that I got um, back in I want to say it was 2012 when I got when I first got the skag and oh god I loved it because what happened I had to do a little research and figure out how many lungs that I was going to be taking on and I said, well, wow, these are some big lungs, and a lot of them were overgrown, and a push mower just was not going to cut it. A little walk behind 21 inch wasn't going to cut it. So I had to get something a little bit heavier that would cut it, and that skag went and got it for me. All right, y'all. So let's uh, move on over. The Turf Master. All right. HDX 30 inch. Great mower. Really love this here mower. This one here, I uh, I was going, I was looking at getting one a long time ago when they first came out, and I heard that they had a lot of problems, and so I decided to back off on it, and that led me to buying the wide gravel more at the time. So I said, well, once they get the once they get the problems fixed, I would try one out, and that's what I did. I tried this one here out. And uh, I've had really good luck with it. I must say that it is a great mower. I really enjoy this here mower here. Um, I have cut a lot of lawns with it. it. It comes in handy, especially when the lawn is wet and kind of soggy soil. It's still a little heavy, but hey, it's not as heavy as these other mowers. And I can, you know, what, what can I say? I can get in the lawn and get out of there. Now. Let's move on over. This one right here is another Toro commercial mower, you know, with the gas engine. Now, I haven't tried any electric mowers with the battery, but that's in the process. I may try one. I may purchase one uh, later on to just find out exactly what the battery power is offering for his lungs. You know, and if I get one, I will share that with y'all, but you know, right now I'm just going to share with you what I have here, and that is this one right here. 
and you have seen me use this one in a number of videos uh, mowing over the years so I, I really enjoy this more here it's great fast quick and it'll do the job for me uh, let's move on over the one a lot of times I get comments people ask me do I still have the white Bravo yes I still have that white Bravo it's right here and you know I really really enjoy this white Bravo more and what can I say hey I'm gonna put this white Bravo back in action I plan on using this sometime soon but as you can see I got a lot of more to use <laughs> and this is all back up back up you know I'm never uh, without a more well, I got plenty more to get the job done so you know and what happens is a lot of times you know you get in situations where customers they want to look at what you have they want to see what you have before you uh, put it in in their lungs if they figure that you got a more that's too heavy or it's gonna rut up their yard or are gonna break their sprinklers and all this and that then they don't want you in there so you know sometimes customers will come out I said well ma'am you don't have to worry I said, I'm not going to do that. I got a light of more. I said, what more do you want? I said, I got that type of more. And I give them a price. I said, now, of course, it takes longer for me to use that some more. Now, if you're willing to pay the price, then you can get that more on the lawn because it takes time for me to use these little walk behind mowers. And some of them are willing to pay the price for you to walk that lawn down because they don't want no heavy equipment in there. Because it's take, it's, you know, it can be time consuming you could be in a mow three or four yards to that one yard while you up here walking it down and then they want it back so you know hey if you want to be able to get in there then you got to use you know you got to use what you can to get the job done in a timely manner and so you know if the customer's willing to pay the price then hey there you go now also i got this honda over here uh this one right here oh honda is a good mower it has a dry shelf in it and it will do the job i tell you i love this honda i have mowed ooh, a lot of yards with this this honda mower now let me move on over oh we got another honda over here oh y'all this i got to tell you about this 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 honda here and this snapper this is where it all started with this honda and this snapper these here two mowers right here were my dad's mowers and he bought these mowers in time frame, I want to say somewhere in the 90s, probably 90, 92, 93 time frame when he got these mowers. Now, I would go with him and help him mow lawns. And at the time he had another truck, uh, I think it was a Ford, uh, I don't know what that was, it was a diesel, it's a big truck. I'm not, F-250 diesel, something like that, with a stake bed on it, because he used to do some hot shot work hauling these oil well heads, and I would go with him on that. But as I, as these here two mowers, what I'm telling you about, started the whole thing. That's where he started his lawn care with those two mowers there. And that Ford truck, the white Ford truck, as we can see right over here, this 95 Ford truck was his truck. And that's what he used to do his lawn care. And all he, all he would do was take and put those mowers in the back of the bed of that truck and go with it. Now, he had a trailer, but he never did really, he never used a trailer. He took that up to the country and all. And it's, you know, it's, it's just up there. But basically, that's all he had. And so when he got sick, this is what I had to work with. He had, he had a few customers and uh, they were calling to get the lawn mowed. So uh, I was, violent. My, well, my mom said, oh, my son would take care of him. And I was like, okay, hoping that my dad would get back well. And, and you know, and he never did. So I just carried on the lawn care. And I would do it part time. And then finally, as the years passed, I, I was doing it part time. And then I just took the thing full time after my job ended when I was working out in Nassau. Now, okay, so that's how I started with these here two mowers. And that's all you need. Now, I mean, you can make some good money with just two mowers, two commercial mowers in, in a residential uh, area. 
you can do very well very well with that now how all this other stuff come when I took over now when I took over and then I named my own business we whack a lawn care now by me taking over I took it to another level you know <laughs> I mean I took it to another level when I went full-time I went full-time and I started investing money into equipment to get the job done i had so many customers i got the thing up to 150 lawns i mean i was rolling i was never at home i was gone from sun up to sun down and i was running so hard i was running seven days a week at the time when i done that i was my weight i was 208 pounds in about three months i was 140 pounds and i didn't and then no, and I was a 36 in the waist. Then I went down to a 28 in the waist. That's how hard I was running. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't have time. I was eating, but but I was running. So and I mean running. And you, when they say work out, this here will work you out. And that's what happened. I worked out, y'all. I mean work. Ugh. I was on the go. Money, money was good. Money was good though, but I, I was never at home. Never at home. I was always gone, mowing yards. I didn't turn nothing down. It was one of those things, feast the phantom, you better get it now or <laughs> you ain't gonna get it at all. So I was like, better get it now. And that's what I was doing, I was getting it. And I enjoyed it, I mean, really enjoyed it. I mean, and sometimes, you know, I would go by my dad was like, oh, how you doing? How? I'm like, dad, I'm all right. I, he said, well, you got a good business. <laughs> I said, yeah, Dad, I think it's a little bit too good. Because <laughs> the demand was there. I mean, it, whoa. Yeah. And that was back in 2012. Now, it's, the thing is totally different. I don't work like that anymore. Don't plan to ever work like that anymore. You no, know, I, mm -mm. that was some hard work, though. I was doing cleanups everywhere. Mm -mm. That, that's no way to be. But it was, I mean, I had fun doing it, but mm-mm. Oh, let me, let me go and share with y'all this. Okay, now we're looking at the blowers, handheld blowers. I have uh, two handheld blowers. This is old Echo. And what it was, I used to leave it on the truck. And as you can see, I think it was a, uh, that's a P, I don't know what that is, two something. B, B something other 256 something old one and it faded out and then I have this one here the steel uh, the SH 86 C which is a uh, it's a good blower I use that one and uh, also I have uh, this one right here the PV 770T I use that one it's the older blower and uh, it's, it's been very good bad app called blower still runs and uh, I do have a new Elko over here. Now I have Milan, uh got this one out the box. It came in and uh, what happened was I got it in the beginning of the year and you know this hasn't been a good year for me and so I, I, I put it to the side. What had happened, my mom, well y'all know the story that happened my mom passed and all so i it has been sitting in the box ever since i just never had time to get to it now what else i want to share with y'all oh i share with you i have plenty of filters i keep my oil changed in my equipment so i buy a case of filters so i can keep the oil changed for my mowers these right here i, I buy a case of them then i have this oil right here i have a case of that so i can you know do my work or tuning up my mowers and everything so that uh you know I, I can get them ready and so sometimes if i'm not able to get it ready i already have one that's already tuned up and ready to go that's why when you see all of these mowers if one i have used it for a long time then it needs the oil change or it needs new spark plugs or some tune up filters and all of that I'll park it to the side and I'll grab one that's already ready to go. And then when I get time, I'll come back and I'll do the tune up and I'll change the oil and everything. But when it's on a go, go, go basis, you know, I just switch them out and uh, keep moving. Now, let me move on over here. As you can see, these are all my 
trimmers that I have. And, you know, I had some on the trailer over there I shared with you earlier. But uh, these, I have Echo. I have uh, another well, Echo trimmer, hedge trimmer. Then I have another, uh, this here is the, uh, the uh, Echo uh, SRM 2620T. I have that one. And then I have this one right here, the steel uh, FS. Uh, 94R have this one here and I shared that one in a video with y'all I I do like that one. I know they've changed the engine on it and, and uh, it's, it's a very good good trimmer I really have enjoyed that one there and I also have another one just like the one on the trailer That I shared with you the 3020T. I got two of them. I got to put a head on that one and I have the uh, FS 91R uh trimmer i've used this one here a lot and had good uh good luck with this one here it, it's been a good a good trimmer and i have another one this one here is a older older model echo it still runs i think this is a uh 266 echo 266 t which is a good little trimmer there they don't make that one anymore that engine and i have the uh husker bunner I uh, I really like this one here, the engine oil, but I've had a lot of problems with this Husqvarna trimmer. I was, you know, I, I put it in the shop, and what happened, I, I put it in the shop like 15 times. And what it was, they changed out everything, the dry shaft and all of that, put that in there new and everything. I was only able to use it for about six months. The engine is great, but somewhere in the head here, the dry shelf, all of this has been changed. I said, we'll buy another one. And I put everything in there. But the head, the uh, dry shelf, it keeps coming loose in there. After I use it for a while, then it, this, the cable, it doesn't stay in there good and tight. So it comes out of there every time. And so I'm not able to uh, use it. And it, it let me down on a number of jobs. So I ended up having to buy another trimmer because of this. But when I first got it, I really enjoyed it. But it just wouldn't hold up. So I just put it to the side. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably nothing. Because it's, it's not. Well, I don't know. Unless I can convert it to something else. But I don't know. And what else can I share? Oh, let me share with you my uh, the chainsaw. The CS590. The Timberwolf. Oh, this one here is a good chainsaw. I really like this one. I've had really a good, good uh, luck with this chainsaw. Oh man, I've enjoyed that. Uh, I, I tell you, that's a great chainsaw there. So and I've cut a lot of trees down, done a lot of just work, forest cleanup and all, and I've in, really enjoyed it. Now let me share with you over here. This here is my auger that I use, and I use that sometimes for for getting out trees or doing post work you know putting out fence I'll do that in the winter time uh, you know some fence jobs or something I'll use it for that and just some trees sometimes just digging holes I can use the auger to dig a hole around it and then just pull that tree right up out of there so that's that's been good and I picked up at I picked it up at a Harbor Freight I think I paid something like uh, I think it was like 150 bucks or something or other Okay, let's move on. Okay, y'all. Then I have my uh, The tank here the steel SG 20 that I use for uh, putting out weed and grass killer. I use that uh, a lot and I have some other tanks that I use and It's been really good. You know, I think that's like I don't want to say it's what's that four gallon four or five gallon something like that very heavy on your back though but it's it's a great little tool for using I plan to uh, probably get a newer one and, uh, I'd like to try one this battery I think it'll be a lot faster uh, oh let me also move on over here give you a view of my tiller now I use this here for doing flower beds and all uh, you know you might get some new property that needs you know some landscaping work for is fixing up a, 
a flower bed and all, you need to till all that out and everything and, you know, get the soil all cultivated so that you can go in there and put you some flowers and stuff in there and build up a good flower bed. And I, that's what I use this here for. Uh, I think I got this thing in uh, tractor supply. And it's done well for me for what I needed it for. And I, what can I say? I really have really enjoyed that piece of equipment. And I also used to till up my backyard with it and uh, have a garden in the back. So it's been great for that. Uh, I would have me, you know, try me some uh, watermelon, some kale, and what else did I have? Cantaloupes, or uh, what else? Try some, uh, well, yeah, cucumbers and all. Yeah, something like that. Greens. So, um, that's, uh, that's pretty much some of the tools that I have here on equipment and all that uh I'm sharing with y'all for my lawn care setup for 2021 yeah, now it like I say this here equipment it came by my business was growing and so I had to be able to do the job and that's how I accumulated all this equipment I would go and buy new stuff to keep going when something would break I wanted to make sure that I always had a backup so that I could fulfill the job. You know, when the customer called me, I said, well, I gotta go. I wanna be able to grab a piece of equipment and go get the job done. So, and some of this stuff, I mean, I do the maintenance on it for it's changing all the filters, spark plugs, tune-ups, whatever it need, I wanna be able to do it. Sometimes I'm not able to just take the stuff to somewhere and drop it off and go back and get it. So I would, go into the garage at night and get in there and tune it up and fix everything. I mean, I can take them all apart. Now I can rebuild the engine, but uh, it's sometimes it's, it's cheaper to just to buy a new engine versus uh, rebuilding the engine. By the time you get all the parts and all that and rebuild and calibrate it and, you know, you know, timing and all that, uh, I just buy a new engine, slap on it and go. It's cheaper. And that's what I'll do. That's why I got a new engine over there in a box over there for my uh, standard. It's a little bit bigger engine, more power, and I'm in the process. I'm going to get it on there. Uh, I just need to take, take a little bit more time and just get on in there and get it. Get the, I have it all apart, but I just haven't mounted it back up. That's what I'm waiting on. Now, y'all, I hope that you've enjoyed me uh, giving you uh, a little tour of my 2021 lawn care setup. I know a lot of you have asked, so here it is. I'm giving it to you. So uh, uh, leave me some comments if something you want to know. Feel free to leave me some comments. I'll try to uh, answer them if I can. Um, I also and. Hey, y'all know, thumbs it up, you know, <laughs> just thumbs it up. You know how they always say it helps the, what that, the analytics? Yeah, it helps those. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to close this now, y'all, because I got to put this stuff up. It's, it's getting night on me here, and uh, I don't want to be too late out here, so I got to get this back into the garage, some of it, and then I got to go to the storage. I got to go take this other stuff to the storage. So I hope you've enjoyed, and y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye. standing we'll be back soon I just got to put the engine on there I got it apart I had to pull the whole 
uh, deck off of it just to, to uh, get the engine off. What it is is uh, there's one boat up under there, couldn't get to it. So I had to take that off to get to that one boat that's up under the deck to uh, remove the engine. So I got that off. And uh, I got the engine around there in the box, brand new engine, ready to go. Actually, it's gonna be more horsepower. So, uh, like I say, coming soon, I will have this here back together. Stay tuned for that. All right, y'all, gotta go, bye.